Hi, I'm Jacob Sibulski. Welcome to Rapid Miner Data Mining and Data Visualization. In this lesson, we're going to learn some very basic things about Rapid Miner. The most important one is where to get it from. Uh, go to the browser, type rapidminer.com, and this is what you see. Um, you want to get a version of Rapid Miner for your uh, operating system, so download Rapid Miner. You can see there are three possible products we could download Rapid Miner Hadoop, which is Hadoop for Rapid Miner, Rapid Miner Server, and that's not what we want for this um, course. And Rapid Miner Studio here, version 7.2, which is available for Linux, such as Ubuntu, Mac, Windows 64 bit, such as uh, Windows 8 and Windows 10, and the older versions of Windows in 32 bit versions. Um, so click on one of those blocks and you'll be taken to the area to download the software. And while the software is downloading, you may wish to sign up for the free account with RapidMiner. And as you can see, um, I can readily log in. Uh, what's important is that when you are um, signed up, that means you can uh, use some extensions and libraries of RapidMiner, which are not available for the free version of Rapid Miner, but are available for the version of Rapid Miner for people who are signed up. It's still free. It's a community version of Rapid Miner. And later on, when it's finished downloading, go to installing Rapid Miner Studio, and there will be instructions for you how to install it in Windows, Mac, or Linux. And then start it up. And this is what it's going to look like. Um, it's empty. Um, in the middle, we will be developing analytic processes and we're going to get the data, analyze the data, produce charts and tables and do some fancy interpretation of what uh, data means. Um, however, before we do any of this, we have to tell RapidMiner where the projects are going to be stored. And to do that, I need to find a place on my hard disk. I found that place. In my case, it's on drive D, the Frontier Rapid Miner YouTube. And I already created some empty folder in anticipation of the future lessons. And one folder for data. And if you watch it on YouTube, that means each YouTube video will have a link to the data for that lesson. You could download it and dump it into the data folder. Now we need to tell RapidMiner exactly where this place is. And to do that, I have to switch back to RapidMiner. Here is the place, local repository. This is a local repository stored on your local computer. Uh, it's some kind of a uh, local folder, but we need to configure it. Uh, we could rename it, but most importantly, we need to go to the place where my special repository is stored. D drive, Dev Frontier, Rapid Miner, YouTube, and here we are. All the folders that we've seen a moment ago. So press open and save. And instantly, when we open the repository, all those folders become available. They're all empty, except for the ones I've done before. And that means um, I have created some analytic processes which could be loaded and run. And here's a data folder which from Rapid, Rapid Miner point of view is empty because Rapid Miner hasn't stored anything there. And we know we have CSV files in there and some other files, um, but not quite visible as such, not yet. Okay, so. Um, what else can we do? Uh, we can load extensions. I have already preloaded some extensions. For example, I'm using very often anomaly extension. I'm using Python and R scripting. I'm using series uh, analysis, self-organizing map, text and web mining. And so occasionally I use Weka extensions. How do you actually make those extensions appear here? And for that, we go to the marketplace. First of all, the marketplace 
allows you to log in and once you logged in um, at the moment I can log out but uh, you'll have a login or register you could register you get your free account and suddenly rapid miner becomes the community version then you could check for updates and so first of all you'll see if the version you have just installed is current yep it's all up to date it's version 7.2.3 you can look at some top downloads, what people like to download. For example, they like downloading text processing, Weka, web mining, series analysis, um, recommender extension, R scripting, Python scripting. And if you want to get something that you don't find here, you could search. For example, let's look for self-organizing maps. This is another package I'm using quite often. Uh, here it is. And if you want to install any of them, you double click here or you select for installation. And I'm not going to do it because when you do this and say install, it'll go through install, or it'll download install, and then Rapid Miner is going to ask to restart. And this is not what I want to do for this video. But play with this so far. Um, and in the next lesson, we're going to create the first, the first process. Load the data, look at the data, uh, convert the data. And um, we want you back looking at RapidMiner videos.